From WBAY-TV, your first alert station, Action 2 News starts right now with breaking news. Breaking news just into our newsroom. Take a look. Door County firefighters are battling this fire in downtown Sturgeon Bay. A Door County Sheriff's Office dispatcher tells us it's on South 3rd Avenue between Oregon and Nebraska streets. And you can see it's a large fire. The two story building filled with flames. We're getting videos from viewers like Bob Cosby. He says he lives nearby and he also says it's a historic building called Butch's Bar. The dispatcher says the call came in just after 3.30 this morning. No word on any injuries. We'll keep you updated on this breaking news. A devastating and deadly fire rips through a bar and apartments in Sturgeon Bay. Authorities struggling to find a way to get in. The building right now is deemed uh, very compromised. The building in downtown, rich with history, now gutted. It's almost surreal. My niece sent me in a video and I couldn't kind of watch it. It just doesn't seem real. All this as Northeast Wisconsin is enveloped in a winter storm. The latest you need to know tonight on Action 2 News at 5. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We have lots to get to tonight. We'll check in shortly with David Ernst in the First Alert Weather Center. We also have a crew monitoring the roads at this hour. Jason Zimmerman will have a live update from the Fox Valley just minutes from now. But first, team coverage from Sturgeon Bay. A deadly fire at a historic downtown bar with one person still unaccounted for. We first brought you this as breaking news early this morning. It happened at Butch's Bar on 3rd Avenue. Viewer video shows the flames that started around 3.30 a.m. Our live team coverage in Sturgeon Bay starts with Casey Torres. Casey, what have you been learning about the search today? The search for the one person unaccounted for continues. We also learned one person was killed in the fire and their body was found a few hours ago, but has not been identified yet. We also know that one person was hospitalized at a burn center. However, we have not heard how they are doing at this moment. And there were several survivors that escaped the fire, but their home was on the second floor where the roof collapsed. It was certainly a sad day, no doubt about it. This is what Butch's Bar in downtown Sturgeon Bay looks like after an early morning fire burned it down Tuesday before 4 a.m. Only charred brick walls are left of what was once a popular hangout spot for locals like Richard Bone. Well, I haven't been in there maybe in 10 years. But uh, before that, I'd go there. The bar also had second floor apartments that some people called home before they came crashing down. There are 20 available rooms that were above uh, Butch's Bar. Nine were rented. Several renters now need a new home. Amy Conley from United Way uh, has been, her, her office has been in contact um, with the renters that um, we have here that are displaced, trying to find them uh, shelter and long-term housing. Nine agencies helped out with the fire in the middle of a winter storm and bitter cold. Uh, there's a lot that goes into this. There's a lot of training that goes into this, and that's what they train for, but it still doesn't make it any less uncomfortable, especially with conditions like this. It's a sad day for that old barn building and the people associated. Sturgeon Bay officials in the state are now handling this investigation. They are trying to figure out what could have caused the fire and where it could have started. But finding the answer to that could take a while because this building is considered compromised. That is another reason why people are asked to stay away from the area that is taped off by at least two blocks on 3rd Street. Reporting live in Sturgeon Bay, Casey Torres, Action 2 News. Thank you, Casey. We've also been learning about the history of Butch's Bar and its value to the community. Kaylin Schumacher has details on that. Kaylin. Yeah, Bill, I got to talk with the Door County Historical Museum today, and they told me that while the bar has been here since the 70s, the building itself was actually first built in 1904, back when the roads were nothing but dirt. And kind of its purpose, uh, it actually hasn't changed that much um, in the 120 plus years um, that we're talking about. In the more than 120 years that it's been around, Butch's Bar has held a handful of names, owners, and purposes, ranging from a hotel to an Eagles Club. 
pretty fascinating stuff and one of the most significant uh, historic buildings in that area for sure. Years ago it was called the Eagles Club and they used to hold meetings upstairs. It was a whole open area. When my uncle took it over, he made rooms upstairs, sleeping rooms. But patrons say its varied history is what made it so great today. Being in there, you definitely did feel the history, and you felt those years and years of people putting their you know, heart and soul, bringing those community memories uh, into that space. Uh, it had an impact. A lot of memories, a lot of friends, and kind of like relatives, we all hung out there. Becky Trout, the current owner's niece, said today her family is heartbroken for her uncle, as Butch's Bar was his whole world for more than 50 years, and now it's crumbled overnight. It's been in the family since I was a child. We've had like anniversaries for my grandparents there, birthdays. We do, when we were younger, we would do Christmas there, the entire family. He spends more time there than he does at home. But local historians say, unfortunately, Losing history to fire in Door County is nothing new. Fire has dominated Door County history and certainly Sturgeon Bay history. Uh, many of the buildings that currently exist on 3rd Avenue, the stone and brick buildings, were built as the result of the uh, previous buildings burning down. Now, I couldn't get a hold of the owner today, but friends and family tell me that he's doing okay, just devastated by the loss of his building and those that live there. Reporting in Surgeon Bay, Kalen Schumacher, Action 2 News. We begin with that fire engulfing a building in downtown Sturgeon Bay early this morning. Authorities say a body was found in the rubble and the aftermath of the fire leaves Butch's Bar, quote, very compromised. Both Casey Torres and Kaylin Schumacher have been following this story all day long. Our team coverage begins with Casey, who has been talking to investigators. Casey. Well, Bill Cammy, this fire did not only destroy Butcher's Bar in downtown Sturgeon Bay, it also claimed at least one life. A body was found underneath all of the rubble. However, it has not yet been identified. We also know one person is still missing and another was hospitalized at a burn center. Right now, we still do not have word on how they are doing. But I do want you to take a look at video from earlier this morning. You can see the massive flames taking over the building. And crews arrived before four this morning. And a total of nine agencies were out here at some point. Crews were fighting brutal weather conditions while trying to put the fire out. This bar also had a second floor where nine people were renting apartments. Those who survived are now without a home. Amy Conley from United Way uh, has been her her office has been in contact um, with the renters that um, we have here that are displaced trying to find them uh, shelter and long-term housing. It's a sad day for that old bar and building and the people associated. The man you just heard from used to go to Butch's Bar like many other locals. And for people who live here, this right behind me, a burned down building is hard to see. As for the investigation as to what could have caused this fire, where it might have started, that might take a while because the building is considered compromised. That means crews cannot go in and out freely. They have to cautiously inspect the building. Now, that is another reason why people are asked to stay away from this area just for their own safety. Reporting live in Sturgeon Bay, Casey Torres, Action 2 News. Casey, thanks for that update. Of course, the loss of life in today's fire tragic and that historic building as well was lost to those flames. Kaylin Schumacher continues our team coverage from Sturgeon Bay after learning about a building with a rich history that will be missed. Kaylin. Yeah, Bill, I talked with the Door County Historical Museum today and they told me that while the bar has been around since the 1970s, the building itself was built in 1904, back when the street that I'm standing on was not covered in snow, but covered in dirt. Now, back then it was built to be a hotel for visitors as that was the time that Door County started appealing to tourists. Historians tell me that some of the apartments that people were living in today were probably some of the same from this time in the 1930s. The building was turned into an Eagles Club, and then after that, in the 1970s, is when it eventually became the bar that it is today. Those who visited say the mix of history within the building, along with its longtime owner, is what made the place so special.
having you know one owner for an extended period of time like that and, and a really really loyal clientele created a, a huge atmosphere in that space Now, the current owner who took it over took it over in the 70s after he had worked there as a young man. And his niece tells me that when he took it over, it became the spot for families to go. All of their events from anniversaries to Christmas parties were held there. Now, I couldn't talk with the owner today, but his niece tells me that he's doing OK. He's just feeling a little devastated for not only his building, but the people who live there. Reporting in Sturgeon Bay, Kaylin Schumacher, Action 2 News. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Sturgeon Bay Police say roads around this burned building will be closed until further notice and as they search for a missing person. Comes as first responders already found one body in the rubble. This is a story we've been following since this morning. Joshua Figueroa joins now live from the scene after talking to people who live near the area of the fire. Joshua, what have they been telling you tonight? The building came and we spoke to neighbors who were sad about the situation and offered their prayers tonight because they were hoping for a different outcome. You know, pray that there, nobody got hurt. And when we found out that somebody did pass away, uh, you know, that, uh, that kind of sombered it all up, you know, pretty quick. Bob Cosby lives on the same block as Butch's Bar. It's right behind his house and is a place he'd often visit to play music. Cosby sent us videos this morning of the flames. He, like other area homeowners, was concerned of the ashes and embers being blown to his house. When you see lights, you know, that don't move, either somebody is pulled over on the street or there's something going on outside. So my curiosity woke me up. Flowers were dropped off by the crime scene tape this evening. One person was found in the rubble and crews are still searching for a missing person. Yes, Sturgeon Bay Police say the integrity of the building is hampering efforts to find that individual. The fire marshals are working with our investigative crew to determine the next best step in um, trying to gain access to that building, if any, at this point. Police say the call came in at 3.37 a.m. with nine area fire agencies responding. There are 20 units above the bar with nine of them occupied. Several people were able to escape before the roof collapsed. We do know that Wisconsin DOJ is assisting local investigators with finding the cause of this fire, but police have also yet to release the identity of the, of the person that was pulled from the building. Joshua, what else can you tell us about the importance of that building in the community? Yeah, that's a very good question, Cammy. As you can see, the building is behind me, it's charred, but one of the neighbors that we spoke to says that this was used as an open mic night on Wednesdays with artists from around the area going to perform. Thanks for your report tonight, Joshua Figueroa, reporting from Sturgeon Bay. The early morning fire in Sturgeon Bay not only destroyed a home to many, but a building with some history. Continuing our team coverage tonight, Kaylin Schumacher brings us a deeper look at Butch's Bar over the years. I got to talk with the Door County Historical Museum today, and they told me that while the bar has been around since the 1970s, the building itself was built in 1904, back when the ground that I'm standing on was just dirt. It was originally built as a hotel for visitors, as that was the time that Door County started appealing to tourists. Historians tell me that some of the apartments that people were living in today were probably some of the same from this time. In the 1930s, the building was bought out by the Eagles Club, and it wasn't until 1960 that it became the bar it is today. Those who visited say the mix of history within the building, along with its longtime owner, is what made the place so special. We have a, a thriving, thriving bar scene here in Sturgeon. Bay uh, and Butch is definitely you would call it a place with character <laughs> without a doubt. Now the current owner of the bar took it over in the 1970s after working there when he was younger. His niece tells me that at this time the bar became a great place for families to go. It's where they held all of their Christmas parties and anniversary parties. Now I couldn't talk with the owner today but his niece says that he's doing okay. He's safe but just devastated for his building and those that lived within it. Reporting in Sturgeon Bay, Kaelin Schumacher, Action 2 News.